in the previous videos we've learned quite a few uh, relationships between various pairs of angles right now i know what you're thinking at this moment that is a lot of information to memorize well let me tell you there isn't actually that much information to really memorize right there are basically two parts to all the information that we've just learned firstly you must be able to name the pair of angles so beginning from the uh, beginning from a linear pair well linear pair is an uh, relative is a relatively easier term to remember what uh, so for example these two angles the red and the yellow angle they form a linear pair similarly vertically opposite angles are also easier to remember right coming to the slightly complicated names alternate angles interior alternate angles and so on and so forth so all you have to do is for example let's take two angles let's say i choose this angle and this angle what are these two angles well these two lie inside the two parallel lines therefore they must be interior right because they are inside the two parallel lines and they lie on alternate sides of the parallel lines uh, of the transversal sorry they lie on alternate sides so their name becomes interior alternate angles simple now if i take these two angles these two are also interior alternate angles right they are inside the two parallel lines and on alternate sides of the transversal if i take this angle and this angle for instance now these two lie outside the uh, two parallel lines but they are still are lie on alternate sides of the transversal therefore even these therefore these two angles this red angle and this purple angle the two would be called exterior alternate angles and same applies to this angle and this angle so i hope using such common sense you can name the pair of angles at hand now let's say you are inside your exam hall you have nothing but a blank sheet of paper and you don't remember anything and let's say you need to remember what are angles are equal and what are angles add up to 180 degrees let me tell you a very simple trick what you do is take a paper, pen take a blank sheet of paper draw two parallel lines no these aren't very parallel let me try again uh yeah draw two parallel lines they don't have to be perfect but yeah i have drawn two parallel lines now just draw a transversal perhaps something like this perfect now this doesn't have to have to be a perfect line just try to make your transversal slightly more slanted i'll tell you in a moment now you can quickly go ahead and label the angles this angle this angle this angle this angle and so on and so forth now the simple thing to remember here is that out of all these angles some angles would be acute whereas some angles would be obtuse right for example this angle wait let me label them again slightly clearly here is my parallel line here is my transversal so for example this angle right here this one is an acute angle whereas perhaps this angle right here this one is an obtuse angle right you can clearly see that it's greater than 90 and this one is less than 90 now the simple thing to remember here is that every acute angle will be equal to every other acute angle in this situation with the two lines are parallel right and every obtuse angle will always be equal to every other obtuse angle lastly every acute angle plus any other obtuse angle will always be equal to 180 degrees just this this is all you need to remember every acute will be equal to every acute angle every obtuse angle will be equal to every other obtuse angle and any acute angle plus any obtuse angle will equal 180 degrees in this situation so this is an acute angle this is an acute angle this was in is an acute angle and this was in a, is an acute angle whereas this is a obtuse one this one obtuse this one's an obtuse angle and this one now you can go about randomly and choose any acute angle for example let's say this angle now this angle will be equal to this angle 
vertically opposite angles and this angle will be equal to this angle corresponding angles also this will be equal to this one exterior alternate angles and so on and so forth you can try it out yourself play around with this but the only thing you need to remember is are these three pieces of information and they aren't hard to remember right that's pretty simple so yeah that is a very small trick that you can use during your exams and stuff to remember all the angles that are equal and all the angles that are supplementary